Elaine Lister took $60,000. For that, she faces prison. There are bankers, investors, who essentially stole billions, brought this country to near economic collapse. You know how many have gone to jail? Zero. None. All those perpetrators of the mortgage fraud that crippled our economy caused financial ruin for so many, not one has even been prosecuted. But hey, let's get Elaine Lister. Consider the atrocities committed by the banking industry and the government. First, the deregulation of derivatives, which paved the way for those credit default swaps, leading to the great mortgage Ponzi scheme. Then, after those Wall Street thieves f***ed us all up the ass, can I say that? Those criminally incompetent hacks in Washington spent over a trillion dollars in taxpayer money to bail them out, with no quid pro quo. No system put in place to track how the banks were to use that money. There were no requirements that they increase lending to consumers. Instead, they just stuck it in their own pockets, took more big bonuses, and as for the rest of us, right up the ass again. Throw them all in jail. How about the 10 worst offenders? How about one? No, not one. Not one. But hey, let's get Elaine Lister. Goldman Sachs deliberately duped clients sold them lousy deals that their firm then profited from by betting against. That's criminal fraud. Jail? For anybody? Nope. But let's get Elaine Lister. Ms. Mendelssohn says, watch out. We've got social unrest. Is it any wonder? These lug nuts in Washington nearly shut down the government because they can't pass a budget? Millions of Americans are going belly up? I and mean, what the hell do they expect? When a government acts to betray the interest of its constituents, civil disobedience isn't just a right, but a duty. Elaine Lister was making a point that day. She didn't wear a mask. She knew she'd get caught. She was in that bank to make a point. She's not a criminal. She is a hero. The outrageous government conduct defense is pretty simple. It applies when the government conduct is so outrageous that it violates fundamental principles of fairness to prosecute a defendant. If not now. When? Government. Hero. Government. Hero. Government. Hero. That's your choice. <laughs>